Hello! Today I'm going to show you how to install Python and Pygame into your Visual Studio Community 2022 edition. It works almost exactly the same way for 2019, so there shouldn't be any differences. First and foremost, you need to open up your Visual Studio installer. I'm assuming that you've already installed Visual Studio Community 2022, and we just need to modify it. If you haven't already installed it, you can proceed with these same steps during your initial installation. So it'll work exactly the same way. So the first thing we want to do is modify the version of Visual Studio that we plan to use. In this case, I have two different versions. I'm going to go ahead and use 2022. Click on the Modify button. And then here you want to find the box marked Python Development, Editing, Debugging, Interactive de Development, and Source Control for Python. So select that, and it will select a set of things over here on the right hand side to install. Live Share is really nice because that will allow you to work with another developer live in your own code base. I'm going to go ahead and install Python 364 bit in addition to my normal Python install. Click on modify and then you'll have to approve the installation and then this is going to take a couple of minutes so we'll wait for that to finish. Through the magic of video editing, we are able to skip over that time. It really only took about 30 seconds or so for that to install. If I'd selected a few more options, it still should only have taken about three minutes or so total. Now that that's installed, we can go over to Visual Studio. So go ahead and open your Visual Studio 2020 too. And we're gonna create a new project for Python. So if this is the window that comes up first, then go ahead and use Create New Project. If not, in your other Visual Studio window, you can go up to, I think, File, um, New Project, or something like that. So create that new project. Select Python as your language if it is not already selected. Often, if it's brand new, Visual Studio will assume you want to begin working in it. Then click on the Python application, a project for creating a command line application. That's just going to be basically an empty project doesn't have a whole lot of other stuff, which is going to help us make sure that our code compiles and runs quickly. Go ahead and click Next, put it wherever you want, give it some name, and then click Create. It'll take a couple of seconds. And then it's going to pop up with a new Python application. Notice that your Python window will be empty, nothing exciting going over over here in your code. What's important here is going to be what's on the right in the Solution Explorer. So first thing, under Python Environments, make sure that it has something listed there. In this case, the environment that is being used to build your project and run your project is in bold. So in this case here, it's Python 3.10, 64-bit, and then the global default just means that that is the Microsoft global default um, in, on this particular machine. You can have multiple versions of Python running. I'm not going to show you how to install a bunch of different ones. Now, the next step we need to do is install Pygame. Right, so in this particular case, I actually already have Pygame installed uh, because I already did that, but I'm going to go ahead and remove it just so that I can go through the process. All right, so now you'll get an environment that looks something like this. The only modules installed are PIP and Setup Tools, probably. You may have some other things installed here, if you've installed Python in some other way on this machine before, you might have a bunch of other modules. Don't worry about them. Just look to see if you have Pygame or not. If you don't, then I'm going to show you now how to fix that. So first thing is you want to right click on the name of the Python environment that you want to use or you are using, the one that's bolded. Click on Manage Python Packages. This is where it gets a little bit weird. All right, so first you can see I only have one environment installed on my app, on my uh, on my computer, and that is the Python 3.10 64-bit, which is fine. You may have other ones listed here. That's fine. Just make sure that you have selected the one that you are using for this project. Then down here in this window where it says Search PyPol and Installed Packages, this is actually an editable text window. This is where you're going to search for the name of the module you want to install. In this case, Pygame. So just search for Pygame. It's going to come up with a bunch of different suggestions. 
All right, so the first one is almost always run command pip install pygame. This is the one that you want to choose most of the time. However, there are some other options here if you want to install some of these other modules, if you need any of them. You can see here there's install pygame 2.1.2. That's kind of the default, and that's what's going to happen when we run this command. I almost always just click run command pip install pygame. All right, that's going to start the installation process. And then over here in your output window, you'll see information, installing Pygame, collecting Pygame. It'll download the package. Then it'll say successfully installed, blah, 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 blah. And then right down here is what you're looking for, that last line where it says successfully installed Pygame. If this is not successful, look up in these other messages and look for errors or dependent packages that need to be installed first and then go and install those packages in the same way we just installed Pygame. So search for their name and then install them individually and then try installing Pygame again. Generally, Python will install dependent packages, but not always. So, but once you have that successfully installed Pygame, then you should be good to go. So you can close the Python manager and you can see now under our Python 3.10 environment, we now have pip, pygame module, and setup tools. This is a visual confirmation that this module exists, it's been installed, and it is in this environment. But let's just double check to make sure that it's actually running. This is where it actually is relatively easy. All you need to do, go over to your .py window and type in import pygame. If this runs, if this code runs successfully, then Pygame is installed and will be usable. So go ahead and click start, run this, and it's going to pop up this window, hopefully. If everything goes well, it'll say hello from the Pygame community. This is confirmation that Pygame is correctly installed and is usable in this project. So everything should be good to go, and you should now be able to build your Pygame games. That's it. Good luck and enjoy creating games in Pygame.